Easily connect your exchanges to securely sync your transactions and run them through TaxBits Tax Engine. Generate your completed tax forms with a single click. Founded by tax attorneys and CPAs, TaxBit is the most trusted cryptocurrency tax solution. Nothing is that easy. It doesn't come overnight. But I want to show you with patience and perseverance, anybody can do this. What's up guys, Kevin Cage here with another XRP update. Let's kick it off with news shared by Mbiagi. This is Mbiagi1 on Twitter. Now, this piece of news actually leads to a bunch of news I wanna cover, so pay close attention to this. So first things first, shared by you today, we have Ripple partner SoftBank. Now this is a longtime RippleNet partner, and they are leading an $800 million funding round for XRP-friendly Revolut Digital Bank. Now this Revolut has recently had a valuation of $33 billion. Step into my time machine. As we know, Mr. Katow, the legend himself, CEO of SBI, a huge shareholder of not only the company Ripple, but also R3. R3 is the big money, the trade finance, the capital markets, you name it. And this is not conspiracy, this is fact. He has literally been quoted to say on video that we've shown on this channel that he wants to create a synergy between Ripple and the organization R3 for XRP usage. As we know, back in 2019, Ripple welcomes Yoshitaka Katow to the board of directors, no surprise. As we can recall, Paul, Mr. Katow was also responsible for the JV, the joint venture between SBI Holdings and Ripple to create SBI Ripple Asia. And I'm keeping a very close eye on Adam Trademan as well, along with the mobile application Money Tap. Now, speaking of SoftBank, check this out. Prior to SBI Holdings, Mr. Katow actually served as the executive VP and CFO of the SoftBank Corporation, where he handled himself gigantic financing for the company to engage in aggressive investments. Now, speaking of MoneyTap, SoftBank, which owns the Ripple-supported MoneyTap payment application in Japan, along with Tiger Global, has helped this UK-based Revolut digital bank raise a whopping $800 million, which leads to a valuation now at $33 billion, rather than just $5.5 billion in 2020. Safe to say there are billions of dollars surrounding this space in seed funding and interest for the future. What do these institutions know that we don't? And speaking of big money, now we have Revolut holding $742 million in crypto assets, of course, including XRP. And remember, they are UK-based, and the UK's Financial Conduct Authority, FCA, has declared XRP to not be a security. So they're completely fine in terms of regulations. XRP is a global digital asset. And they also include Litecoin, of course, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin, and Ether. And even per Revolut's blog post published back in January, the company still allows its clients to buy and sell XRP, despite the controversial lawsuit initiated by the SEC against against Ripple Labs in December 2020. Now, speaking of SoftBank, so they own MoneyTap. Yoshitaka Katao was an executive there. And of course, we know their involvement between SBI Ripple Asia, the joint venture. And now notice, this is this year as well. SoftBank's telecoms arm is set to become the latest member of the JSTA. This is the Japanese Security Token Association. Joining other firms such as Mitsui Trust, the consulting subsidiary of NTT Data. And don't worry, I'm not going to show you that famous NTT data document, but it does make you wonder. And these organizations are very legitimate, as you can see right here. The Japanese Virtual Exchange Business Association, along with the Japanese or the Japan Security Token Association, were both recognized in 2020 as financial instruments and exchange associations. Japan is one of those forward-thinking countries just like Singapore and just like the UK that are well ahead of the curve in terms of adoption for blockchain technology, crypto-based firms, you name it, and they will play a major role in the crypto economy. As you can see, crypto exchanges usually seek membership as part of the process of obtaining operating licenses from the FSA. So just like the UK has the Financial Conduct Authority, Japan has the FSA. And this organization, funny enough, has also declared XRP to not be a security. Interesting. Just like Singapore and Switzerland. And here's a little fun fact that I had no idea about. Check this out. SoftBank CEO famously lost over $130 million after buying Bitcoin at the peak of the 2017 bull run and subsequently selling during the 2018 bear market. Talk about short-term perspective. Ouch, this is painful to imagine. $130 million. And then you sell during the dump. So you buy high, sell low, only to later watch BTC go from 20K and go well above 60K just a few years later. In 2020, he said his previous Bitcoin investment distracted him from running his company, but admitted that digital currencies were here to stay. 
Hmm. Now pay very close attention to this as well. So SoftBank, Ripple Partner, involvement with MoneyTap, we know all this, blah, 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 blah. But now we also have SoftBank and Coinbase bet $26 million on a crypto company launched by an ex-Microsoft executive. Now who is this company? Well, guess what? It's based in Brazil, one of the BRICS nations. And of course, Ripple is all throughout Brazil. There's no debating that whatsoever. And so SoftBank, a huge Japanese Ripple partner, now leading a funding round with Coinbase as well for this Brazilian asset management company called Hashdex, which is currently focused on cryptocurrencies. Here's the official press release back on May 12th of this year by Bloomberg. But anyways, I'll be keeping a close eye on Revolut and their half a billion dollars worth of crypto holdings nonetheless. Next up, guys, we have three lessons you can learn from Peter Thiel's $5 billion Roth IRA. If you don't know who Peter Thiel is, he is one of the first big investors in Facebook. He also co-founded PayPal with Elon Musk. And I'm sure you've heard of the PayPal Mafia by now. And his early fund did in fact invest into OpenCoin, aka Ripple Labs, early on. And the same thing goes for Google Ventures, or Google. But anyways, PayPal Holdings, the company he founded back in 99, and his 1700 initial investment was worth $3.8 million a year later. Now, he's sitting on a $5 billion windfall that will be 100% tax-free. $5 billion, and he pays 0% in taxes, provided he doesn't touch the money until after he turns 59 and a half. Wow. And as you guys already know, I do in fact have a Roth IRA entirely for cryptocurrency so that I can pay 0% in taxes by leveraging the existing platforms today. In every YouTube video description, you can scroll down and see iTrust Capital, and this link will actually get you a free month as well. And as you guys know, the IRS is coming harder and harder each and every year against crypto tax dodgers. I do not recommend trying to hide taxes even between DEXs or Binance Smart Chain applications. Play it safe, report your taxes, and follow the law. To me, it's just not worth it to try to hide a $100,000 profit. And then if they actually do catch you, which is not that hard because everything is on the blockchain, you're going to be in for it and pay way more fines than initially. So at the end of the day, I'm paying my taxes as I should, even if I'm hesitant to do so. And keeping track of taxes for me is simple. I don't have to do anything. I leverage all these exchanges. I use Caleb and Brown and OTC Broker. And of course, any transactions I do, even between DEXs like MetaMask, I just get the CSB file and send it to my group over at TaxBit. So TaxBit, you guys can get, again, links in the video description if you so choose, 10% off using my link below. And as you can see in every single YouTube video I do, you have it right here. So at least you can start your free trial, see how the interface works, and see if it works for you. I'll actually play a YouTube video at the end of this video if I remember remember and you guys can decide for yourselves just remember every service I talk about on my videos guys are services I actively use today and that's the only reason I recommend them if I don't use them I don't waste my time talking about them next up as referenced in yesterday's video we have to keep a close eye on this this is Novati yes they are an on-demand liquidity partner for Ripple they utilize XRP as we can see I have links all provided right here I'm um, retweeted it a bunch for you guys if you want to go find it again and right here so Novati taps ODL to improve the Australian remittance payments corridors to Southeast Asia. Now, Southeast Asia, of course, is booming in terms of Malaysia, Thailand, you name it. And of course, Flash FX was already saying that they are building on-demand liquidity corridors. So building is happening, and we have to pay close attention to that. Yes, I believe XRP will be used massively in the future, and I believe that volumes will be substantial in the future because of the billions of dollars backing this organization and a variety of others. And speaking of Novati, Visa approves Australian startup, and guess who this Australian startup is? Novati to issue debit cards for spending Bitcoin and other crypto assets, thanks to the growing interest in crypto in the Australian market. And right here we have ASX, the Australian Securities Exchange, listed Novati will issue the card. What a small world and what another coincidence. Crypto Spend's app allows users to spend their crypto, as we can see Bitcoin, Ether, XRP, Bitcoin Cash, and Litecoin. The application has its own wallet on which users can hold their coins. We have customers that range from 18-year-old students to 70-year-old grandmothers. This further emphasizes the growing appetite for people of all ages and all borders, guys, to use crypto as an everyday currency, lowering the barrier to entry as we can see. And even speaking of Crypto.com, which is Hong Kong-based, if you guys have been paying attention to the hundreds of millions of dollars in partnerships between Crypto.com, they became a principal member of Visa Australia in March. 
allowing the business to directly offer its version of a crypto visa card in Australia. So these are just a few of the things that I'm considering. Also just wanted to point out that API 3, the staking target is almost on track and instead of a 47% return, I'm currently getting 48% APY. And yes, this is one of my bigger holdings and I cannot believe how much this APY is currently and this auto compounds and some rewards are passed out every single Thursday and I just got my first rewards last night and oh baby this part two of the video of staking and showing passive income is going to be really exciting I cannot wait for flare networks to go live so I can show you some actual examples and no nothing is that easy it doesn't come overnight but I want to show you with patience and perseverance anybody can do this if you're going through something right now Please stay strong, keep the faith, and keep fighting. And please understand these are more than just words. I've experienced so many losses in life, not even just financially, and I've always bounced back. And you only lose when you actually give up. I've lost huge amounts. I've lost almost everything before, and I felt like I was never going to come back from it, and then I did. Right when it was darkest, things turned around for me. So please, if anybody is struggling right now, keep the faith, stay strong, make a plan, and try to capitalize on what is presented to you. I wanted to share this. Martin Volk, great guy. Please follow him as well. In the quote, first you learn, then you remove the L, aka then you earn. Absolutely. And then Anders L coming here. And if you don't learn, you just get the L. If you don't learn, that is when you truly lose. I love that. Spit and wisdom, gentlemen. I love these guys. Now, I'm looking at the fear and greed index for the Bitcoin market. And yes, we're still in extreme fear. Shocker. Is BTC going to hold above that 28K region that wick or even just hold that 30K region on a daily basis? Last time I checked, I believe Bitcoin was at 31,000 or 31,500. And everybody, the sentiment is so, so low. What do you think will happen? Well, we have all the money, the real Lisa Daily right here saying the market always does the opposite of retail. We're going up. Time will tell. No wonder this guy's happy. His hex bag is absolutely mooned, at least last time I checked it, so congrats on that. I'm not sure if you watch my videos, but I've seen you on Twitter talk about hex for quite some time when it was low, and I know for a fact you were in it before everybody else paid attention, so congrats. That's how you invest. You buy things when nobody's talking about it, and you sell when everybody's talking about it. Overall, we have a lot of things happening, so 62 million XRP transferred by Coinbase. And this is just a couple days ago. You have another capital group division buys 12% stake in Bitcoin heavy MicroStrategy. You have Jeremy O'Leary, CEO of Circle, a huge fintech group that I do believe will go public just like Coinbase did and had one of the largest IPOs in history, talking about how bullish he is on the entire crypto economy. In quotes, there are key pieces of infrastructure that have to fall into place that kind of light this up around the world for cryptos to reach their broadband moment and get that next Cambrian explosion. That's what I believe as well. And I even saw Credible Crypto talking about, obviously with the dot-com bubble approaching, you know, trillions of dollars or nine trillion, give or take, what do you think the cryptocurrency market is going to reach? I don't think nine trillion, 10 trillion dollars is outlandish. We even saw Ripple, the company, put out predictions in the years ahead, and their numbers even were around 10 trillion dollars for the total cryptocurrency market. And today we're at one trillion. How do you think this really ends up, guys? The global stock market is over $100 trillion, and inflation is not stopping anytime soon. So my question in closing this video is this, which happens next, guys, for Bitcoin? We are at $31,000 at time of recording. Will we hit 40,000 next and we get another pop? Or will BTC come and dump down to 20K, offering some huge discounts on the altcoin market? I would love to see sentiment. I retweeted this. Let me refresh this guy. And let me see if there's any new votes. We have 1,300 votes so far. 56% saying $20,000. So the majority are bearish. What do you think will happen? And will we find out this month? And in closing, I'm going to play that tax bit video. The links are in the top of this video description to get 10% off. And yes, this is the platform I use. I don't know why people People complain about taxes this is the easiest thing there is for me and I've been filing crypto taxes for several years as you guys know because I trade I have long-term holdings I have a lot of crypto or at least what I consider a lot and I take tracking them very very seriously I plug and play sign into my exchanges get the document give it to my CPA and I'm good to go and I've never had any issues whatsoever in Coinbase Ventures has invested in Taxbit. This is the best tax platform available. I've already gone through every other platform. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you in the next one. The IRS released new tax forms for the 2019 tax year, which require all taxpayers to attest to whether they traded cryptocurrency during the year. 
If so, you must file an IRS 8949, which reports your capital gains and losses. TaxBit automates your cryptocurrency taxes, enabling you to effortlessly track, calculate, and report your transactions. Easily connect your exchanges to securely sync your transactions and run them through TaxBit's tax engine. Generate your completed tax forms with a single click. Founded by tax attorneys and CPAs, TaxBit is the most trusted cryptocurrency tax solution. Sign up for a free trial today and let TaxBit handle it for you.